Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you what's in Spike or yeah a little bit of what's in Spike. Not all of the, the orchids of course. Um, not yet at least. I would just start with this one again. It's my beautiful uh, Tolomnia Gyrac Flyer Hickory and it's been flowering for five weeks now and yeah I think this one yeah it's branching here you can see it's branching so yeah I think this one is gonna be in flower for me for at least yeah yet another five weeks so yeah as you can see Tolomnias are really rewarding orchids to grow and it's a color changer it came out um yeah red shall we say red, red yeah and now it's vinyl color i don't know if the color is right on my video but now it's vinyl color it's dark and it gave me six flowers on yeah its first set of blooms okay and this one is a lovely cattleya it's my cattleya Ludemaniana uh, semi-alba and yeah but I got a little bit surprised it's not really opened yet I mean it up, opened up this morning or this afternoon and now it's evening but uh yeah I, I yeah the stripes here it really su surprised me it looks a little bit like the um Memoria Robert Strait Island Delight which I showed you quite many times the reporting videos and such but uh but it's a beauty isn't it and look this light yellow uh, coloration on the lip and the markings here on the lip and yeah the depth of the the lip here I think it's oh, it's it's lovely and a scent you should smell her yeah it's beautiful and this one has been flowering before but not in my care the spike uh, broke during transport so after that it produced this uh, bifoliate cane and after that the bifoliate cane which didn't produce any flowers for me on the other hand produced two canes one really plump a large cane which produced two beautiful flowers with a lovely scent lovely lovely scent and yeah I discovered that later pseudobulb the small pseudobulb also had produced a little uh, bud here which I didn't I hadn't seen it because the the uh, the leaf was covering it so yeah so it's gonna be a long blooming for this one and it's sitting in bark and I did not repot it and yeah I wouldn't want to disturb it yeah it's doing great and yeah, what a lovely scent it's got. I love it. And I bought it from Orkesons Orchidier in, in Gothenburg, Sweden. It's a really vigorous plant. As you can see, all the root growth here. Yeah, it's growing on beautifully. You can see it's just growing roots and roots and roots. Yeah, as well as... I think it's already started another new growth here so it's a really vigorous plant and I love the bat-shaped uh, pseudobulbs the canes here yeah it's a lovely one isn't it Orkesons Orchidier in Gothenburg Sweden I will make a link in the description box below to her orchid nursery and I'm gonna show you a spike a lovely spike on my Angrecum bossarii uh, sesquipedale, or the other way around perhaps, uh, Angrecum sesquipedale variation bossarii. As you can see, the spike is on its way, and it's a first time bloomer for me. And you can also see in there, I don't know, maybe you can see the little bump. If that means that it's going to produce yet another flower for me, well, time will tell, but I know too little about and Grecum orchids so yeah this one is uh yeah it's a success for me I'm I'm proud yeah as you can hear 
and it's sitting in semi-hydroculture with lekka beans and a little bit of charcoal and a water reservoir here with the vampire pyre bites as I call them yeah yeah and it's doing great so yeah I will show you the beautiful flower before long uh, yeah it's so exciting you couldn't imagine how exciting this is and that it's developing two flower spikes two I mean two flowers on the same spike this one was just showing up as a nubbin but I suspected that it would develop to a flower later on but not at the same time but I know so little about the Grecum so well, who am I to tell you that uh, yeah and this one is soon gonna open for me and the spur is really long now I think it's 30 centimeters long so this one is gonna be lovely to follow yeah and now over to a recent purchase. It's my Paphiopedalum San Acteus times Lippewunder from my orchid hall, my first orchid hall from Lucke Orchidien in Germany. I'm gonna make a link to my orchid hall video in the description box below. And yeah, it wasn't in spike when I got it, but it sure is now. Yeah, and it's full of something, so it's gonna be a beautiful flower. And I'm so excited, but no, not in here. There's nothing in here, but yeah, one flower is better than nothing. And this soon as well. I mean, yeah, I've had this one for months or so. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's good progress and it's a beautiful plant. Yeah, I will show you the blooms, of course, before long. Yeah, it's a recent purchase and the blooming is not my achievement, unfortunately, but I love them see if there's any scent to it not much it's just this flowery scent which you cannot describe properly but it's a odontoglossum and yeah i think the suitables are yeah quite all right they're quite plump and i haven't reported it and i'm not gonna report it yet yeah and yeah not much to say about this guy but that it requires a little bit more cooler air so well I'm not sure how well this guy is gonna do for me in my environment but uh well we shall see and I will keep you updated about this guy how it's coming on and if it likes my environment or not and we also have this one this lovely Miltonia this beautiful pink red orange and with a yellow center it's a beautiful one but it's got poor pseudobulbs but uh, there's another one there's a new one coming up here i didn't see it when i bought the orchid so well that gives me hope that one the little guy here and yeah it's got almost no roots at all and it was all ripped out of the uh the pot here when i bought her i mean it was the last copy of this one so well i didn't get any discount or anything and i bought it at hornbush it's a hardware store i mean but they got quite a lot of uh, beautiful orchids there as for now every um garden center has got orchid days so yeah that's yeah that's a little bit um scary since i bought 10 orchids in the last three days so yeah never mind we're not going to talk about that no but what we are going to talk about is this beautiful orchid this Paphiopedalum it's a hybrid which I got at uh, my orchid hall uh, from Hornbush this hardware store which I was talking about five seconds ago and yeah I love this one this flower is amazing and it's got two two fans here I think this fan is the latest one so uh yeah maybe well well no it's not big enough but well i think the, this orchid is is fabulous and i happened to knock it over but i was really fast so i just grabbed it here so the flower spike didn't break i was really fast with my hand here to grab it on its way down to the floor 
but all the media fell out from the pot and it gave me a chance to see the beautiful roots. This one has got a lovely root system and the media smells quite all right, so I'm not going to repot it. It's going to stay here and it didn't do it any harm. As you can see, the flower is still intact and yeah, it's not fading or anything and yeah, it's okay. It's a lovely one. And this a little bit less lovely one is my, yeah, can you see it? Uh, Hobbyara Lava Burst. Yeah, this one has been open for a few weeks now. Quite a lot of weeks, uh, yeah, I suppose. And it gave me two flower spikes. This one is, uh, yeah, I said, but uh, but this one is dull. But anyways, as I told you in my video about this guy, it always kills the old fan in order to produce another one, a new one. It's just this way of growing, I guess. But uh, yeah, all right. This one, this beautiful L.C. Binosa from uh, Klaas and Orchideen in Germany is still open. And it's been open for, yeah, many weeks now. I think four weeks or so. Three or four weeks, well. Yeah, but you can see uh, the green is fading a little bit. Yeah, and soon it's going to turn yellow. And then we all know that the flowers are fading as well as the lip is going to turn a little bit brown here on the edges here. So I know it's on its way. But I'll uh, give it one week. One more week at least. And it's got this lovely new growth here. Which is going to produce flowers yet again. So yeah, it's a reliable bloomer. And it blooms on every new cane. So yeah, we're going to have some flowers again before long. From this gal. And now, let's see... Yeah, this is my Nelly Isla from um, Curling Orchideen, my Curling Orchid Hall. And I'm going to make a link. This one is orange with some red here on the lip and yellow center. And orange, orange with a little bit of stripes, a little bit darker orange here. But where's the red color? I've never seen an orange one. Yeah, no. I have not. Not with this patterning. The padding in is, padding is right. This one is correct. But the original should be more red. With this patterning. A little bit more white lip than this. This one is light orange. But it's a lovely color. And this one is one of a kind. And it gave me... Yeah, it's two spikes that are open right now. But uh, as you can see... Spike number three. And... Spike number four. So it's produced four spikes. And it's got a little bit of scent to it, but not much. But I think it, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this one is nice indeed. This one of a kind and I shouldn't complain. All right. And it's also from my Hornbush Orchid Hall. And it's a Miltonia, I think. Yeah, it's a Miltonia. And, yeah, the flowers are a little bit darker than they, they show here on the video. But, but they're nice. And they just opened for me today. So, yeah. And it's also got two new growth here. Lovely new growth that's going to produce flowers before long. So, and it's sitting in um, yeah, a nice media. And it's got a lovely root system here. So I'm not going to rip up this one. Yes, and it says Miltonia here. And this one is from Hornbush, this hardware store. So, yeah, good quality plants for, yeah, 10 euro, about 10 euro, not, yeah, a little bit less. So, yeah, and it's it's got a nice scent to it. Yeah, really nice scent to it as well. So, uh, no, we got one more left. One more. This one, Brassia Rix. This copy. It's growing larger and larger for every year and I have this one for three years and it's it's only been blooming for me one once so and that was two and a half years ago so I well well it's been, been producing a lot of lovely roots and uh, yeah a whole bunch of new growth this summer and I've given this one a little bit more light extra light 
than it's used to and yeah, I think it enjoyed it. I also reported it. I think I reported it um, yeah in March this year but it's already outgrowing its spot so well I have to report it once again. Yeah, maybe this can be a good time for it to be repotted, as you can see. The new roots here coming on. Yeah, they're gonna dry out in no time if I don't yeah give them some more moisture. Alright, but that wasn't what I want, wanted to show you. I wanted to show you that it's finally in spike for me. I just noticed. And it's for the second time then, two and a half years ago, since it's last bloomed for me. And well, I dig a little bit. And I also noticed a little, I think this is also a new spike, a little spike here. Yeah, maybe there, there's more of them coming. Well, if I look a little bit closer, but well, at least two spikes. And perhaps on this one later on, but yeah. And last time it bloomed, it was in, uh, yeah, in July. So, well, I'm a little bit surprised that it's starting to bloom in November. But, but yeah, yeah. It shows that this one can can bloom twice a year perhaps yeah it's a real steady plant large one and it's gonna be even larger and it's suspicious uh, brassia rex this is my Meltonia sunset and yeah I just saw that it's got a little spike here a new one and now it's November and I made a video I think it was in July or August or something when it it was in full bloom with, I think, two spikes or three spikes or so. I can link to the video here. And, yeah. This little spike, well, it's a poor spike. With only two buds, but at least we'll get to see some blooms. And, well, when I searched a little bit more, I could see that I think there's another spike here. But this one is also poor, but at least, I mean... <laughs> this one can bloom four times a year, I think now. <laughs> so it's a lovely, lovely one to have. And yeah, now you can see the, the coloration underneath here already of the lip. And um, no, not here. But um, yeah, this pastel colored, beautiful Meltonia sunset. It's a keeper. And I think I got it from um, Blomsterlandet Flower Country. <laughs> it's a local garden center in Sweden. I'm sorry for my voice. Um, yeah, I'm having this throat problem for one week now and it doesn't seem to go over. So, well, I'm not really sure. But anyways, uh, I really have to make <laughs> videos then. <laughs> anyways, in spite of that. Otherwise, I will miss a lot of good stuff to record. So, sorry for that, but yeah, but this is nice. All right. <laughs> Whoa, now it's getting tight here. <laughs> yeah, in order to show them all on the video. But this is my Oncidium Sweet Sugar, still in bloom, of course. And it's also producing yet another flower spike somewhere. Yeah, here it is. It's a little, little, little spike, but uh, yeah, and I think I'm, no, it's not broken. It just looks that way, but uh, yeah. So it's going to be a long blooming, long time blooming with this beautiful yellow splash. So this one is one of my favorites. As I said, it's always has been and yeah, it always will be, I guess. Lovely, lovely Oncidium. Yeah, I think that was all for now and as always thank you so much for watching this video and following my channel as well and I wish you all a good day and yeah take care bye bye <laughs>